What up, my cruisers, and thank you for watching this video. <laughs> so, that was outside forces continue to raise the price of gas. To make matters worse, that doesn't help when you have a gas guzzling vehicle. My Land Cruiser only gets 13 miles per gallon combined. So, according to Gas Buddy, Costco ranks among the best places to get gas in terms of price. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to pump gas at Costco gas station. All right, let's roll. So the first thing you're going to do when you pull up at the Costco is you're going to get in the lane and they're separated by these dotted white lines as you can see. After you get into the lane, it doesn't matter if your gas tank is on the left or right because they got long, um, what's it called, fuel hoses. So even if your gas tank is on the right side, you can get on one that's on the left and you can just pull it and extend it all the way to the where your gas tank is. Um, so that's the cool feature that they have at Costco. And as you can tell, this is from recently, from today when I finished uh, getting gas for my Camry. There is a lot of people now, even more so since the gas price has gone up. And there's the long hose fuel. So you can pull up on either side. And uh, right now, I'm gonna show you the procedure of how to put in uh, gas in your tank. Another thing is you have to have a Costco membership card, I believe, or a Costco gift card to get gas. And uh, these are prices from like two weeks ago. So um, I went there today and they were like $4. So I'm pretty sure it's more than $4 at most gas stations now. So it's a little bit cheaper at Costco from what I've seen. So what you're going to do is you're going to, if you have a Costco credit card like I do, you're going to put it in there and it's going to tell you to, uh, hold it in there until it tells you to remove it and then once you remove it you just uh press 87 or 91 or whatever fuel types they have at your costco gas station and then you start filling up otherwise if you have a costco black card or white card you're gonna insert it and it's gonna tell you to pull it out quickly so just do that and then you're gonna insert your credit form payment or you can tap to pay as well so that's another cool feature they got. So I believe Apple Pay and Google Pay works at the Costco gas stations now. The new ones at least, the updated ones, which I'm pretty sure they've updated all of them. And then uh, you just start filling up and then, uh, you know, you're going to feel the pain because <laughs> I just filled up gas in my Camry today and it was uh, $4 a gallon at Costco for 87 So, um, yeah. That's what it's going to be now. And then, um, sure, it's going to go a little higher because of the, you know, all the stuff that's going around and not only in our country, but around the world as well. So I'm not going to put any blame on anybody because I don't like pointing fingers. But, I mean, that's just how it is right now, unfortunately. But, yeah, I mean, if you're a Costco member, I definitely recommend coming to Costco again, getting gas. This one's a pretty good gas station. So, yeah. And that's, what I, that's where you tap to pay right there. You can see on the screen, tap to pay. This is when uh, gas was a little bit cheaper. So for 13.4 gallons, it was only 51 bucks. Pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit more now. <laughs> Cause I put 91 in this thing too. I put 91 in my Land Cruiser. Cause I feel like it runs a little better. The timing's a little better and it has more power. So, I mean, let, let me know what you think about that. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll probably make another more in-depth video of uh, gas in general. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.